Good morning, my sisters and brothers. My name is Father Peter Van Gongchen, a Redemptorist from Annapolis, Maryland. Welcome to our Gospel Reflection for the 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please listen to the Word of God according to Luke chapter 21, verse 5 to 19. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, he said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will be not a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, Teacher, when will this happen? What sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? And he answered, See that you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first, but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines, and plagues from place to place, and awesome sights and mighty signs will come in from the sky. Before all this happens, however, they will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prison, and they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. My sisters and brothers, what is the most important choice you have made or are making affecting you and yours at this moment? Is God a part of it, affecting your actions? Is it going smoothly, or have you encountered any obstacle or oppositions? Are you at peace with it? As many of you know, I spent my last two months on mission in the highlands of Vietnam. I would like to thank all of you who joined me through your earnest prayers and generous support. You have made so much difference in the lives of our suffering people with your loving contributions and prayers. One of the five provinces I work with is named Con Tum. One of my closest friends was there. He was ordained a priest at the age of 37 with the Dominican order. I was sent to serve the Montagnards in 2018. In many of the areas in the highlands, the church presence is not encouraged. Proselytizing is prohibit prohibited. To accept to serve the Montagnards in these regions is challenging materially, physically, spiritually, and politically. Saying yes to the mission there 
is to say yes to the loss of self so others may live. All for the will of God and the love of the poor and the most abandoned. In the beginning of this year of 2022, he was sent to another very remote community of 2,000 Montagnards on the eve of the 29th of January, while hearing confession, someone came in with a machete and hacked him to death during the confession time. Father Joseph Tran was 41 years old. There is a Vietnamese saying, to be born into this world is for a passing life. To die is to come home. We have no control over what happens in the world around us. Suffering, violence, destruction, sinful acts are unavoidable realities to which we are not immune. In the remote village of Saloon, where Father Joseph laid down his life last January, or in a tiny village in Ukraine, where bombs and rockets explode every day in the warm womb of the mother, or in a secluded town in San Francisco, where security seems to be most elaborate, the unexpected happens. The word of God resonates the call for all to be prepared in taking advantage of the moment to work diligently to help build the community in Paul's letter to the Thessalonians. In persevering in living our faith, in despite all adversity, trusting that God is watching over us. He's in control. And everything is temporal. Only God is eternal. We Christians remember that we are born out of God's love to live in this given life for a purpose and one day to go back to God. We are given opportunities to experience His love in a merciful presence in our lives through sacraments and prayers together with the body of Christ the Church to become each day more united with Him. And we are sent to celebrate the blessing with the world by our lives our presence, our involvement to make a difference for God. The evil powers in the world are not for us to avoid or to be afraid of. They are the recent death for all of us Christians. That's why we were sent to be a part of the world, to transform the world so it can become God's. The world in its darkness is crying out for the light of Christ. Are we all willing to celebrate our vocation? May God bless you. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us all to do in memory of him may bring us growth growth in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may the Almighty God bless all of us, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And my dear sisters and brothers, we thank you for joining the Redemptorist online preaching. And we hope you will join us again next Wednesday, November the 16th, with Father Richard Bennett, the homilist. May God bless you and yours always. Mm-hmm.